As the COVID-19 pandemic is sweeping across the globe, many countries and regions have gone into lockdown, confining people to their homes and drastically reducing economic and social activities. In many places, road traffic has halted and passenger airplanes stay grounded. Some effects of these radical changes on our planet were visible in only a few weeks. From orbit, the European fleet of Copernicus satellites have observed these rapid changes from the waters of the Venice Lagoon clearing up to changes in our atmosphere, where a swift reduction in NO2 concentration has occurred, especially in regions which have gone into lockdown. So uh, with Sentinel-5P of uh, our Copernicus program, we have observed actually quite some stunning uh, uh, images uh, of concentrations of NO2. NO2 is, uh, is one of the gases uh, that is uh, created directly by people. Uh, through traffic and, and industry, and these are really the main polluting sources. And uh, interesting part or interesting fact of NO2 is that it is a gas that is relatively short-lived. It lives for half a day, roughly a few hours, uh, and therefore it can be directly traced to the pollution source. That means traffic and industry where it is produced. More recent measurements of NO2 of end of March or early April. Uh, have shown that uh, over several cities in, in, in Europe, uh, which have been uh, heavily affected by the lockdown uh, after the coronavirus uh, uh, restrictions have been applied, that these values are going down uh, by about 50%. By measuring concentrations of NO2 from space, ESA and its scientific partners can indirectly determine the impact of corona measures on industrial and economic activity. Over major cities across the globe, a massive reduction in NO2 has been recorded whenever a lockdown has been put in place. In Los Angeles, for example, the famous smog has disappeared, and in regions in India, the peaks of Himalayas can be seen again for the first time in a generation. Other regions, for instance in Eastern Europe, industrial activity has continued, and these are visible from space as they do not show a reduction in NO2 pollution. The reduction of NO2 pollution is in itself good news, as it does affect people's health. NO2 is known to cause respiratory problems and aggravate underlying conditions, such as asthma. However, today the reduction in air pollution comes at a very severe cost in terms of economic growth, mental well-being and disposable income with millions of people confined to their homes and even losing their jobs. So this drastic reduction is not a sustainable one. But as countries are now preparing to restart their economies with massive stimulus packages, there might be a choice to do things differently. There it is very important that we are using this momentum, but also this situation, seeing clear skies today and hearing the birds uh, outside uh, our windows, that we realize how important it is to preserve our our planet, our nature, and therefore do the investments of the stimulus package in a way that they are sustainable and they are still in line, in harmony with our planet one way or another. It's estimated that air pollution in general causes over 500,000 premature deaths in Europe every year. And cleaner air is certain to be beneficial for our health. So as we battle the COVID crisis, we should try to innovate and shape our world for a better tomorrow. From space, ESA will continue to give us the data we need to take the pulse of our planet and act on it.